you all. I'm having a breakthrough moment. I'm having a breakthrough moment. I was just making a video about To Do Tuesday, which is today, and I noticed the way that I was talking about a particular topic in my life being a challenge. And I noticed, like, as I was talking about that topic, my energy just dropped. Like, I started to get stuck, and I felt like the way that I was talking about that topic in the little video that I was gonna make, not this one, I just started to go downhill and all of a sudden it was hard for me to think clearly. I lost focus and it just dawned on me and I stopped the video and I thought, that's what I need to be talking about. I need to be talking about and working through in real time the way that I have this belief around this particular topic and because it's been going on for a while now it's been getting a little bit ingrained <laughs> and so that's why it's really helpful to talk things out with friends people you care about even if it's to a phone just so that you can hear yourself out loud <sighs> Um, and yes, I'm talking to me too, because I was pretty resistant to making a little video, anything right now coming out of to do Tuesday, where I have laser beams shooting out of my eyes of productivity. And I just get in this like quick fire mode of get it done, moving it from to do to doing to done, boom, boom, boom. And it feels amazing at the same time. It's like really intense coming out of that and transitioning. So but I turned on the camera, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to talk about, but it's going to come out and it's going to be helpful for me and transitioning out of To Do Tuesday. So here's my breakthrough. I heard myself talking about the challenges of not having childcare. And I thought to myself, gosh, I am so sick of me saying that. Like, I'm, I'd be so happy if I never said that again. Like, that would be great. So can I just not say that again? <laughs> and then it dawned on me even further that the way that I talk to myself in my head creates this energetic field around me that is contagious. And the way that I have been making assumptions about having help with the kids is it's just time to shift that like it's time to shift it and I feel like it's been in the works for a while and now it's time like you know when you have that thought that you want to make a change in your life and there's this period of time before you can even begin to take action towards making that change oh, well, what about this problem? And what about that problem and this problem? And like, there's all these reasons why I can't make the change. Well, that's been me with having help with the kids. And so right now I want to work this out with you all. This storyline that I'm going to shift and I'm going to be like, this is another thing that is becoming more and more clear to me that we don't need to be so hard on ourselves. <laughs> like, we don't need to beat ourselves up so hard about things when there's an area of our life that we're not feeling great about. It can feel really good to just admit that and then be like, but it's all good. Like it's working out. Like I trust that this whatever piece of my life and my day-to-day -day experience it's working out in my favor if we have a belief that we are connected with all that is that we are living breathing source energy creators um if we can tune in to that understanding then anything is possible and yes there's this period of time where we are recalibrating and 
tuning all the dials of thoughts in our in our mind and our being <clears throat> I mean it's not just up here it's like it's all over the place such a frequent thing to point at your brain when you're talking about the mind but it takes a while to pay attention like slow it down notice okay I'm having this thought I'm having this feeling this experience and what else is going on in this experience okay I'm noticing a feeling in my chest like a tightness and when I have this feeling in my chest this tightness I also am experiencing this this thought in my imagination it's this image almost of me struggling and me desperately wanting help and not getting it and I think it'd be really nice if there was a different way to imagine that scenario I think that'd be pretty cool and so maybe I could try just imagining something a little bit differently how would that feel if that specific image that specific scenario that I was just holding how would that feel if I were to like recalibrate it a little bit you know turn the dial a little bit and make it make it a little better like how would that feel within my being I feel like a breath of fresh air like it just immediately comes to me it just feels like if I imagine oh like someone appearing that's perfect and really good uh, to be with our kids and there's other kids around and our kids are smiling and they're they're just like so happy to be in this new environment and feel supported and safe and love and trust that me and Eric are going to pick them up and when we do pick them up they run to us and they say mommy daddy like we had such a good day like thank you so much for bringing us here we love you so much and then we go home and we eat dinner together and because we've had this day of productivity and fun all of us then we enjoy the time that we have together in the evening eating dinner and being outside and just like breathing fresh air and work being in the garden and like all of that is so much better in this scenario and then like all of a sudden my whole being just frees up and I can relax and then all of a sudden ideas come to me about like little shifts in the way that I'm thinking little like little shifts about you know all those blocks that I had before about this is the reason that we can't get help with that and that's the reason we can't get help with that it can be really sneaky when we're in a particular circumstance situation that we're not really digging like we're, it's not really feeling very good then like we can feel stuck in it without any options or solutions and so I <laughs> just you know I'm waking up to this realization consistently sometimes I wake up to it so good and so hard that I think oh I just I know I have this this learning now forever like it's going to be so easy for me for the rest of my life to just apply what what I just learned and that all I have to do is just really imagine a new scenario and it gets better like the more that I practice imagining it differently and better and uh you know then life comes in and that's a part of it like that is a part of the life experience that we're here for on this place in this place with this place that we call earth so I had to share that with you and I am super curious for you like what what area of your life are you just feeling totally stuck with right now like you're kind of feeling sick of it like you've 
talked about it with people and it's like if somebody hears you talk about the situation like a close person to you hears you talk about the situation one more time they're gonna roll their eyes and be like seriously you should talk about this again uh <laughs> comment below and let me know um and i encourage you like seriously 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 i encourage you to sit down and imagine it being different and don't just in your head like talk about it go somewhere private where you can be alone and just talk it out to your camera or write about it in your journal so that's all i love you thank you for working through that with me Mwah.